Right everyone, Web Collector here. Right, got a new crossbow. This is the Junzing Dracon 100 pound compound pistol crossbow, or carbine I suppose. It's, it's not a pistol, but um, it's so small it might as well be. If you, if you call the um, Tomcat 2 and that a pistol, you know, or the Adder a pistol, you call this a pistol. So, this is what you get. I got this one from Merlin Archery and the money for it was very kindly donated by a friend and YouTube view viewer. So thank you mate, massively appreciate that. So what I'll do now is show you a little unboxing and how to put this together. Right, so this is what you get in the box. Quite a nice little setup really. So you get crossbow, this is the sort of body of the crossbow. And just seeing that in my hand, you can see how small that is. That is going to be a tiny little thing, really. So, the crossbow, three bolts, the stock, the foregrip, the sight, and some rail lube. So, I'll get all this out and then I'll start putting it together, and you get the tools as well. So this is everything you get in the package. You, you do not get these bolts, so these are bolts I bought extra, but I just thought I'd put those on the table so you can see those. Those bolts actually are, I think they're about 11 quid for six, which to be honest, for sort of proprietary sort of bolts, that's not too bad. Um, yeah. So, there's all the pieces. The red dot or holographic sight, the stock, the foregrip, the little stirrup type thing there, and your tools to put it together. So what I'll do now, I'm going to put this together. So one thing I would mention is this doesn't actually have any instructions with it. So for the foot stirrup, it appears to be one screw that comes out. Most of the, I think all of the screws that you take out are the ones that are already sticking out. They're not fully into the body of the crossbow. So basically, if the screws are not fully in, those are the ones you'll be removing. It appears that most of the screws also have some kind of um, thread lock on them as well. Right, so there you go. Took less than five minutes to set up and it's ready to go. You will need to obviously zero in the site. Very quick to put together. Around about five minutes really and it's ready to go. So I'll just go over some of the details of the crossbow. So you get the extendable stock, a bit like an AR-15 type thing. You know what I mean, you would have seen these if you're into your crossbows or your firearms. Cocking handle at the back here. Red dot sight, nice pistol grip, safety at the back there, that's the only safety it has, some have anti-drive fires, this one doesn't. Obviously the 100 pound limbs, compound limbs, you can get the, there's a pistol version of this with 120 pound limbs, but um, yeah, I, th I think 100 pound limbs will still be pretty good. 290 feet per second. Weighs 1.7 kilograms, 26 inches long, so it's very, very small for a little, for a little crossbow like this. 10 inches wide while it's not cocked, and when it's cocked, it goes down to seven inches, and it's got a seven-inch power stroke, and costs around about 217 quid. 
So reasonably expensive, but you know, this is sort of brand new technology to these pistols. You do not get um, decent compound pistols like this, so you're gonna pay more. One thing I would say that I've seen, and I think is excellent, is I went online to look at what accessories you can get for this, and you can easily buy a whole set of spare strings, the bow press, so if you ever need to change the string, it's actually really easy and cheaply to do. Because that's the issue with some compounds. If you if you break the string on your compound um, or it wears a lot of compounds, it's very very difficult to change the strings on them. So there you go. There's the little Junzing Dracon compound pistol crossbow. Wow, well, I suppose this one's a little um, carbine, really, isn't it? But um, yeah, lovely little compact thing. Stock extends out well to about the right length for me. Right, so there you go, that's what you get in the box and that's how to put it together. So in a future video, I will do a bit of testing, see how easy this is to cock, see how well the bolts perform and stuff like that. But overall impression so far, yeah, very nice little carbine crossbow. And absolutely miniature compared to a standard um, compound crossbow. So if you want to get one of these, there's various places you can buy them. I bought mine from Merlin Archery. I'm not sponsored by them. Um, but yeah, that's where I got it from. And it should be available now. And you can get all the accessories from there. But as mentioned, there may be other places that sell it cheaper, so check those out. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more. And... Uh, yeah, there'll be plenty more coming. And if you ever want to support this channel, you can as well. And there'll be a little video at the end showing you how. Right, thanks for watching. See you later.